today's episode, we, we drive the Nissan GTR. But will it be as good as everyone says it is? Well, let's find out, shall we? Our first test is a simple braking test. The car will deploy the brakes when its back wheels touch the line. The goal is to not hit the parked Dacia Duster. Let's see how the GTR does. Strange, the car's brakes are different than I thought. Oh well, moving on. Now, it's time for something big. Welcome everyone to the Genesis One Mile Drag Strip. It's a place where cars are pushed to their limit, simply for speed purposes. I have high hopes for the GTR to be quick here, but how quick can it go? That's 171 miles per hour. God, that's quick. I'm not a massive fan about this car's ride. By that, I mean it's rough. Very rough. Let's see, or test rather, how well this car goes through the corners. Shouldn't be too hard. It does t have a tendency to lose itself a bit. But that's normal. Next up on our test list, Let's test the infamous Parallel Park. And that is a success on the Parallel Park. Since this car's ride is really low, can it, can it get down a small hill without scratching the front end? It does take a minute, but yes, it can do it. This car has decent gas mileage, and it's odd because of that. With 16 mile MBG in the city and 22 in the highway, it's odd to see these numbers from an engine that carries 3.8 liters. Of course, this engine's making 600 horsepower. It's definitely weird to see these figures, especially in an engine like this. And this in turn leads to our next test. I'm here today at the Futaro circuit to see how many laps the GTR can do with just half a tank of fuel. Judging by the figures, this shouldn't do that much. Even with that 16 and 22 MPG figures, how does this apply on the track? I should mention, now that I think about it, the tarmac here at the track is made specifically for the idea of testing a vehicle's cornering, so sliding is definitely going to happen quite a lot.
Let's go back to the ride of this car and test this car's suspension on a small gravel road segment. It definitely rides, well, it rides pretty bad. This is most likely due to its modified suspension setup that was modified from the factory. And now, let's give the GTR an official lap around the circuit. The official standard time is 1 minute 57.25. With adding up with adding up everything else, it is the final time is 2 minutes and 5 seconds. And on that awesome note, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.